It's finally happening, ladies and gents. We are doing our first official Setup Wars Discord edition. Okay, five active members of the community have gathered together in secret and submitted their setups at the same time. And I'm freaking excited to check these out. So without further ado, grab your coffee, sit back and relax, and let the Setup Wars begin. You know, ChatGPT is cool and all, but constant copying and pasting can be tedious. But what if that was already embedded in your keyboard? Meet Type AI, the AI keyboard you can use in every single app. Simply download Type AI from the App Store, go into the iPhone settings, then General, click on Keyboards to add a new keyboard, and over here you're gonna choose Type AI and make sure to allow full access. It can do anything from checking your spelling and grammar to writing full-on emails for you. The fact that you can choose from a variety of tones makes the app suitable for many different situations. Texting your crush isn't an exception. If you're clueless on what to say, Type AI will analyze your incoming text message, write up a reply, and change the tone to riz up the baddie and land that date. With the premium version, you get unlimited access to all the available features. So check out the full power of Type AI by clicking my link down below to activate your free trial today. We're gonna start off the episode with a modest and minimalistic setup by Darko, aka Boney, who's a graphic designer from Serbia. It might not look like much for most people, but this is everything that Darko needs for designing, editing photos, and playing games. Look, I admire your dedication to the single monitor, but as a designer, I truly do think a second one will benefit you greatly. You don't have to get a, another larger display, even something small like a 15 inch portable monitor stacked on top of that one will improve your workflow. You can use the main display for editing photos while you have the top display for reference material, multitasking, or hell, even just keep Discord open at all times. This will prevent you from constantly alt tabbing from your primary display. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's exactly what Darko has done in the past 15 years with his desk. I'm surprised it's still held up and looks practically new. On the desk, we got the Apple Maker V65 paired with an X-Lite V2 mouse and a pair of Edifier speakers. I'm definitely seeing a lot of warm color tones in the setup, which complements the green plants nicely to give off an earthy theme as they call it. The PC has also been put through the test of time with an i5 9600K and an RTX 5600 XT. It might be lacking in the aesthetics department, but it doesn't really matter considering the PC is tucked away in the corner anyways. A very modest setup with a touch of personality. Thank you Darko for starting off the show. Up next is Eric, who's also a supporter on the Discord server. He's currently going to school, but works at a pumpkin patch on the side to save some moolah to fuel his setup project. And well, after one year and two months, he has finally finished his dream setup. This is where Eric kicks back to relax, gets work done, and games on his spare time. The biggest thing that caught my attention when he first shared a sneak peek on the server was the custom frame for the entire desk. I've never seen anyone make a frame like this before. So the entire frame is made out of steel and it was welded by his dad. It appears that they attached the tabletop, the headboard, and both shelves to the frame before mounting the whole thing on the wall. But I could be wrong here. Maybe they just attached everything temporarily to mark and drill the holes because moving that entire thing into the house and mounting it on the wall seems like a very difficult task. It does look like the steel frame was designed to provide support for both the table and the headboard with a built-in rack underneath to help with cable management. I'm not sure who designed this, but the execution is flawless. We got two monitors mounted against the headboard. The primary is a 32 inch 1440p for gaming, while the secondary 27 inch in vertical mode off to the side is for multitasking and I would assume Discord. Using one of the shelves on both the lack shelves for the speakers was big brain. The height, the symmetry, the angle, chef's kiss. When it's time to game, Eric gets locked in with the Hi-Fi Man Sandara headphones and the Fee Fine microphone. For peripherals, we got a custom M1 keyboard paired with a white Viper Ultimate. And to kind of help conceal the cable from the board, Eric added a wood riser, which also helps keep his other gear organized and hidden from view. 
Packing the entire setup is a small form factor PC, packing the 13600K and an RX 6800 XT. You can tell everything about the setup has been carefully planned from the color of the wall to the gear choices and the personal touches everywhere. There was a good balance of function and form throughout. A very refreshing setup that made it extremely easy for me to award the 61st seal of approval. Congrats Eric, hit me up in Discord to claim your plaque and your free Texaurus mousepad. Coming in at number three is I Don't Know. Not that I don't know who it is, he literally goes by the name of I Don't Know from the server. While his identity is a secret, his setup is now revealed for the whole world to see. We have yet another single monitor, and I just gotta say, I respect anyone who is rocking a single monitor. For whatever reason, okay? I don't know how you guys do it, but I gotta respect it. If you're watching this video on a single monitor, sound off in the comment section with the hashtag single monitor gang so I know how many of you guys are out there. I don't know the size of the display, but it could very well be a 42 inch OLED TV from LG. He's got that sitting on a nice wood monitorizer that's keeping his audio gear organized and hidden from plain sight. But that's not the only audio gear he's got. This man is stacked, quite literally, with some juicy hollow audio DAC and amps. Moving back to peripherals, we got a Razer Viper Mini Signature Edition paired with a blacked out custom Kepler FC65 build. That is one mean looking keyboard. Those metal keycaps must feel very nice to type on. The primary source of the audio are from those massive floor speakers that are sandwiching the setup. But for some privacy and gaming, he does put on the Hi-Fi Man Sus Baras. It's pretty evident he doesn't settle when it comes to audio. He's even sound treated the entire room with wood panels that he picked up from GIK Acoustics, which is pretty much the only place I shop for acoustic panels because they don't only help with sound treating, but they also make good looking panels. So you can decorate your space at the same time. And well, decorating is what he did very well. The panels complement the vibe of the room so well. While I don't have any complaints with the cable management, I do wonder why you didn't put the PC on the right side, considering it has a clear side panel on the left side. I'm well aware there is a shelf in the middle, but couldn't that have just been removed or modded somehow? Regardless, this is one hell of a beast, packing the Ryzen 9 7950X and the Aura's RTX 4090. Damn! You also have a very interesting fan configuration. Your airflow is pretty much reversed with intake on the top and exhaust on the bottom. Normally, I would advise against this, but seeing as your PC is sitting pretty close underneath the desk, this might be the only way to get better thermals. Another fantastic single monitor setup. Thank you, I don't know, for sharing this with us. While on the topic of sound treating, take a look at Joe's setup that will absolutely knock the acoustic panels off your socks. I'm starting to see a trend here with Discord users and really good audio gear. Joe's setup is no exception. He's a motion designer from Cali who spent the past two years building the setup for the purpose of motion design, music production, and gaming. So we've got a single Ultraride mounted to a Saljan countertop, and that is sandwiched by two big boy Amphion 215 speakers. I'm sorry, what speakers? Aren't these like a couple grand? Nope, I was off. These are $4,000 speakers, $2,200 a piece to be exact. Man's just casually flexed on all of us with speakers that cost more than most of our setups. But he's using an Alienware Ultrawide. I'm only kidding, Alienware is fine. I'm just realizing the speakers aren't the only expensive items in this setup. In fact, he's rocking some pretty high-end audio equipment, like the Meze headphones and the Orion audio interface that he has tucked underneath the monitorizer. For peripherals, he's using a custom TGR Jane keyboard paired with a G Pro X Super Lite 2. I'm also noticing a lot of custom keyboard builds on the Discord edition. I feel like you can always tell how successful someone is by the total cost of their setup, right? There's gotta be some correlation with money spent on the setup and how successful you are. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section. I feel like this is accurate in a lot of professions. Maybe not all the professions, but most of them. Like DJing, for example, right? Some of the best DJs out there have state-of-the-art mixing equipment, sound training. Um, same goes for streamers. These are the headphones. This is my controller. This is... Okay, I take that back. Regardless how successful Joe is, this setup is definitely impressive, and I can see the passion for his occupation reflect into the setup that he has built. The decor is tastefully done and blends in with the ambiance of the room without being too distracting. He's also not afraid to personalize it with some of his hobbies. 
Look, I'm not gonna tear him a new hole with the cable management because I know how difficult it can be to manage wires from all of that audio equipment. But I will give him credit for using a rack to keep them off the ground and relatively hidden from the front. Now the PC powering it all is a beautiful custom chrome hardline build. We got the i9 13900K that's paired with the Gigabyte RTX 4090 and 192 gigs of RAM. Wow, a worthy beast to power a badass setup. Thank you, Joe, for finally coming on the show. Ladies and gents, we are ending off the episode with a bang. Zach, who's an HVAC tech from Arizona, has built himself the ultimate drifting car inspired setup. Specifically, the Japanese drifting culture is the main inspiration here. You don't often see rims mounted on the wall, but that's what makes this setup already stand out from the crowd. We got the primary setup on the left and a dedicated racing sim in the corner. So the primary setup is rocking stacked 27 inch monitors that are mounted to a carbly countertop and we got a few Alex units for support. Symmetry is definitely one of the things this setup excels in. I mean, everything is perfectly balanced on both sides. From the rims up top to the shelves, the pictures and even the speakers are perfectly placed with tilted stands. I couldn't be more proud. Moving down to peripherals, you got a custom GMK Pro keyboard paired with a G Pro X mouse with a clean straight cable going across the desk and into the two cable racks he attached underneath. I mean, that cable is straighter than me. Hey, Aside from the speakers, the only audio source he's got are the Corsair HS80 headset, which he keeps underneath the desk. Some people might not like the plants hanging out from the rims, but like you said in the notes, I feel like it adds a really nice flow into the rest of your setup. And I couldn't agree more. But what I love most about this setup, believe it or not, is actually the light bar mod for the shelves. That's such a clever way of adding a spotlight to the photos while also replacing the need for a monitor light bar. The PC power in the main setup is equipped with the Ryzen 5 7600X and an RX 6750 XT. This is also the same PC that's powering his racing sim that's tucked away in the corner. Zach not only did a phenomenal job on sticking to a racing theme, but he did it in a very tasteful way. Fantastic setup, and thank you for finally coming on the show, my guy. Which Discord server had the best setup? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see your beautiful nose hairs in the next video.